Hey you and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing sort of an updated video on the technique I use for applying sunscreen over makeup. I did a video on this two years ago and I've gotten quite a few requests to sort of do an updated version. As a disclaimer first though, I just want to say I'm not any kind of medical professional. I'm not a derm, I'm not a chemist. I just want to share what works for me and the tips and tricks that I use. So this is something I really, really care about and I try to ground things in real life and in reality and what is going to actually work and be practical. So even if it's not perfect, it's better to do it imperfectly than not at all. We are told we have to apply it every two hours. It's just not realistic for my life. And if I'm outside in the sun, yes, I will very religiously reapply every two hours, but I spend a lot of time indoors. I do wear sunscreen when I'm inside and I do reapply most days, even if I'm inside, just because I have so many windows. I feel like it's gonna depend so much on where you where you live, what your lifestyle is like, how much you're outside. I find that if I reapply every four hours or even just once or twice throughout the day, that is so much better than not doing it at all. Whew, we are going to move on. I got a lot of questions about what kind of sunscreens I use. I have four that I am using at the moment. It's going to depend a lot on your personal preference for a finish on a sunscreen and obviously your skin type. So just for reference, I have sort of dry, dehydrated skin. My current favorites, I have four. I have one that is mineral and this is the Clinique Mineral Sunscreen Fluid for Face. It's really nice for dry skin because so many mineral sunscreens make my skin feel so so incredibly dry but it does have a white cost. My one sunscreen that is not SPF 50 that I'm currently using is the Supergoop Unseen sunscreen. This one is so beautiful. This is like applying a primer. I will show you how this goes over makeup because it's so nice. One of my absolute favorites and this is so popular. It goes out of stock all the time. The Thank You Farmer Water Sun Cream. This is just such a beautiful sunscreen. It is great. It's a little bit glowy on me. The final one is one that I've just been using for a week, but I love it. Oh my gosh. So I have this ultraviolet one, a Supreme Screen Hydrating UVA and UVB Broad Spectrum. And as you can see, this is the small one. And I will absolutely be ordering the size up here as well. And you can see it has that like slight tint, which just makes it so much easier to wear. Let me know what your favorite sunscreen is and we can help each other. The other thing that comes up a lot is that why don't you use sprays or powders? For me, the powders, let's just do those first. How much powder you need to use to get the adequate protection for SPF. And I have dry skin, I'm gonna look like the desert and if I'm gonna do several reapplications of the powder like it's just it's for me it's just a no i don't i don't like it if it works for you obviously go for it the sprays mm, can tend to i have tried them i find it really convenient it doesn't disturb the makeup i also find them slightly irritating especially to my eyes i like just using a like a lotion a cream because i know how much i actually get again do whatever works for you all right, we're going to get on to application. I'm gonna do this on the right side of my face. I think it is important to say this, and I did say this in my last video as well. This is not going to be picture perfect makeup. You do disturb the makeup underneath a little bit. If you have a photo shoot or something really important, like just know this is not something you want to do right before that. I like measuring it out like doing the finger method because I know that I get as much as I need. So I'm gonna do this side with just using my fingers. It's what I did in the last video. I have different tools for the other side. I'll show you that after. When it comes to the technique, I find this less important when I use my fingers, but I do start where like the center of my face or here where I don't have typically very, like a lot of color cosmetics. So I'm just gonna start on my forehead and because this is clear, it is really difficult to see. You can probably hear like the tapping motion, which is really important. You don't want to like rub this in any kind of way. You want to tap because it's 
going to keep the makeup in place a lot better. So like that, I find this such a beautiful finish. So I also go in under my eyes. Some sunscreens, I can definitely not go this close to the eye. And then I do the cheek area. Rather do thin layers than using way too much at once. All right, I'm just gonna lift you up so you can see. So you can see it has lifted my makeup off here where I had concealer. But like, remember, this is real skin. There isn't any filter here. It's not perfect even without this versus this. I mean, you can see the makeup has settled here. You can see there is text texture on my nose as well. That's sunscreen number one. Don't judge it too harshly. In real life, it doesn't look terrible. So just sort of see that the difference isn't that big, at least not in my eyes. And remember, nobody is going to be as close as that camera was to my face. I'm gonna use the Thank You Farmer on this side and I will be showing you the other techniques. I got a lot of questions if I could use a beauty blender for this. I have seen people do this and uh, I have tried it. And yes, it looks amazing. Do you know why it looks amazing? Because all the sunscreen goes into the sponge and not your skin. So that is sort of my main issue with it, is you have no idea. You have no control over how much product goes onto your face and how much is now left into that sponge. If you're using a sponge, if. I like to use one of these wedge sponges. Do not wet it. You want to make sure you have as little as possible go into the sponge. This is really hard. Uh, it's still going to give a nicer effect. The second thing I do, I always use more product just because I know that stuff goes into the sponge. I don't know how much, but I always sort of overshoot a little bit. The other technique is a powder cushion thing. The same thing, it does go a little bit into the puff, but I find that it's not as much as with the sponges. Again though, using that tapping motion, I'm trying to just not apply too much at once because I find that it's a lot easier if I just apply this in thin layers. I'm gonna do the rest with a sponge just so you can see. Just really sort of having just a little bit at it at a time. But it is a nicer finish, like I'm not gonna lie, it is a lot nicer. You can see how much more shiny this sunscreen is, but it is so nice. And I'm not gonna go as close to the eye with this one. So you can see the makeup is still broken down more here. You can see the nose. I assume you can see the difference between these two sides. That's obviously not because I used my fingers on this side and a sponge on this. It is the difference in the products and you can see this is just giving such a nice glowy but sort of more satiny finish and this is a lot more shiny. What I tend to always do is I let this sit for a few minutes and then I touch up my makeup. I go over with powder but I always let it sort of sit a bit first. I just want to touch on the eyes, no pun on intended because I'm not actually going to touch them. If I put sunscreen on my eyes it's typically mineral sunscreen like this one. I have not been able to apply sunscreen on top of that without it having kind of breakdown. If you have any tips for that, definitely let me know. Sometimes I just apply it over anyways. Other than that, I like to just wear sunglasses a lot to protect my eyes as well. When I apply sunscreen in the morning, I do apply it over my lid. So I apply this, I let that sit for a while, and then I apply like a really good eye primer over, and I find that tends to actually hold my eye makeup, even if I have sunscreen underneath. Just to sort of sum up the things I think you should really avoid doing, sort of a don'ts kind of list. Number one, make sure that you're not applying too little. So definitely make sure you're actually applying enough and don't skimp on the sunscreen. The second thing to avoid is to rub your sunscreen into your makeup. It's going to go everywhere. It's going to smudge. You're going to get all these like horrible lines and it's going to break down your makeup a lot more. Any kind of colored cosmetics, your blush is going to end up wherever on your face. So definitely avoid any kind of rubbing motion. 
The, the third kind of don't is to apply way too much product in one go. It's way more likely that your makeup is going to break down and you will have a much harder time trying to tap all of this in. Instead, just go in very thin layers, apply a little bit at a time to each area and then just tap in that area. I'm going to do a little bit of a touch up now just so you can see the full routine that I tend to use. I'm gonna apply a little bit of concealer to the areas where that had kind of rubbed off. I tend to always touch up after anyways. I don't want any excess product on my skin before I apply the sunscreen. I find that it tends to just get gunkier. Then I'm doing a little bit of powder. I don't know why, but I tend to still sort of tap my brush a little bit. I'm not gonna go over my cheek because I prefer to have a little bit of glow there. I'm actually using the Fenty, like, this loose powder. It is so nice. I often just stop after concealer and powder. Sometimes I don't even do that. It really depends. Am I seeing people or not? Often I'm not. But I'm just going to show you I'm adding just a little bit of blush as well. Because I find that tends to disappear. You can see it's here on this puff fan on the sponge. We're going to do the final close-up here. We are not going for perfection here if we're going for good enough. So hopefully you can see there. No, it's not perfect, but it is quite easy and I definitely feel like this doesn't look bad. For me, the main thing is wear your sunscreen. It's way more important than what your makeup looks like, both for your health and also what your face is going to look like in the long term. This is a much longer video than I intended at this point, so I'm gonna end it here. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think and hopefully it was helpful. Bye!